Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to make stem and leaf plots. We will go through three examples. First, an example with two digit numbers, then an example with three digit numbers, and then lastly, an example with decimals. Now remember, stem and leaf plots are a way for us to organize and display data. So we take the data and organize everything in a table called a stem and leaf plot. Let's jump into our first example where we have the ages of employees at a business. The first thing that we need to do is order the data from least to greatest if it's not already done so. This data is not in order, so we will start there. Ordering the data will make everything much simpler once we get to creating the stem and leaf plot. Let's start with the youngest age of 24. So 24, then we have 25, then 33, 36, 39, 42, then 47, let's go and make another row here. So 47, then we have 48 and 48. We have two 48s. Then we have 49, 50, 56, and then 62. Now that everything is in order, we need to create the stem and leaf plot. So we're going to make the stem column and leaf column. Let's start with a vertical line and then a horizontal line here and the stem column is on the left and then the leaf column is on the right. Taking a look at the data, we have two digit numbers for this example, and they range from 24 to 62. With stem and leaf plots, we split each value, so each age for this example, into a stem and a leaf. For example, let's take 24 years old. We're going to split that value into a stem and a leaf. Stem on the left, leaf on the right. Our stems will be the tens digits, and we will go from 2 to 6, 20s to 60s. So again, we are splitting the values, the ages. Let's list our stems, and we need to go in order here. So 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So the 20s, the 30s, the 40s, the 50s, and the 60s. So again, those stems represent the tens digits. We went from the lowest tens digit of two all the way to the highest tens digit of six and included everything in between. Now we need to list our leaves and we will start with 24 and go in order. So for 24, we have a stem of two and then a leaf of four. Next, we have 25. So a stem of two and a leaf of five. Next, 33. So we move down to the stem of three. 33, stem of three and leaf of three. 36, stem of three, leaf of six. Next, we have 39. So we need a leaf of nine. Now we have 42. So move down to the stem of four. So stem of four, leaf of two. 47, we need a leaf of seven. Then we have 48, so a leaf of eight. Another 48, so another leaf of eight. Then we have 49, so a leaf of nine. Now we have 50, so we need to move down to the stem of five. Stem of five, leaf of zero. 56, so stem of five leaf of six. And then lastly, we have 62. So stem of six, leaf of two. 
And that's it for our leaves. So now what we can do is make a key. That way, anyone looking at this will know exactly what the stems represent and what the leaves represent. And all we need to do for this is take an example from the table and put what it equals. So we can put key down here below the table. So key, and let's just use 47. So a stem of four, and let's split this with a leaf of seven equals 47. And we can even label this years since we are working with ages. So that shows, again, that a stem of four and a leaf of seven equals 47. And then lastly, to wrap this up, I'm going to put a title up top. So ages of employees. And this is years. So that was our two digit example. Let's move on to our three digit example. Let's jump into our next example where we have the number of packages delivered per day by a delivery person over the past 20 days that they have worked. Now the first thing that we need to do is order the data from least to greatest if it's not already in order. For this example, this data is in order from least to greatest. And since everything is already in order, we can move on to creating the stem and leaf plot. We will start with a vertical line and then a horizontal line here. The left column is the stem column and then the right column is the leaf column. Now taking a look at the data, we have three digit numbers that range from 194 to 240. With stem and leaf plots, we split each value into a stem and a leaf. For example, let's take 240 and split this. So what we're going to do, we're going to split each value right here. The hundreds and tens digits are going to be the stems, and then the ones digits are going to be the leaves. So thinking about how we need to list the stems here, let's look at our lowest value and highest value. So 194 and 240. For 194, we split this value right here. So our lowest stem is 19. For 240, we split this value right here. So our highest stem is 24. Now we can list our stems. So we start at 19, then we have 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24. So we have the 190s, the 200s, the 210s, the 220s, the 230s, and the 240s. So we went from our lowest stem of 19 to the highest stem of 24 and included everything in between. Now we need to list our leaves and we're going to go in order starting with 194. So we have a stem of 19 there with a leaf of four. Then we have 198. So stem of 19, leaf of eight. Next, we have 200, so we need to move down to the stem of 20, and we have a leaf of 0. Then we have 205, so leaf of 5. Then 206, leaf of 6. Then 208, so leaf of 8. Next, we have 211, so we need to move down to the stem of 21. We have a leaf of 1 for 211. Then we have 213, so leaf of three. 214, leaf of four. 216, leaf of six. 217, leaf of seven. Then we have 222, so we have a stem of 22 and then a leaf of two. 224, leaf of four. 225, leaf of five, 227, 
leaf of 7, 228, leaf of 8, and then 229, leaf of 9. Next, we have 231. So we're moving to the 230s. We need a stem of 23 and a leaf of 1. And then we have 236. So stem of 23, leaf of 6. And then lastly, we have 240. So stem of 24, leaf of 0. And that's it for our leaves. So we have the 190s, the 200s, the 210s, the 220s, the 230s, and the 240s. The stems are the hundreds and tens digits, and then the leaves are the ones digits. So now what we can do is make a key. That way, anyone looking at this will know exactly what the stems represent and what the leaves represent and how to read this. All we need to do is take an example from the stem and leaf plot and put what it equals. So for example, let's use 225. So we're just using an example from the stem and leaf plot. So underneath we can put key and then a stem of 22 and let's split this with a leaf of 5 equals 225 and we can even write packages as a label since this is packages delivered per day. So that key shows that the hundreds and tens digits are the stems and then the ones digits are the leaves. And then lastly, to wrap this up, let's put a title up top here. So packages delivered per day. So there is our three digit example. Let's move on to our last example. Now for this stem and leaf plot, we will be working with decimals. Let's jump into our example and see exactly how to do this. We have the distances that someone either ran or walked on the treadmill over the last two weeks. So this is per day over the last two weeks. And these are miles. The first thing that we need to do is order the data from least to greatest. This will make everything much simpler once we get to creating the stem and leaf plot. So let's start with the shortest distance. That's going to be 9 tenths of a mile, so 0.9. And we have two of those, so let's start there. Then we have one. 1.1, 1 1.4, 1.5, 1.8. Let's start a new row here, and then we have 2.2, 2, then 2.3, 2.4, Two point six. Then we have two point eight. Then two point nine. And lastly, four point one. Now that everything is in order, we need to create the stem and leaf plot. Let's draw out the stem side and the leaf side. We need a vertical line and then a horizontal line. The left column is the stem column and then the right column is the leaf column. Taking a look at the data, everything has a ones digit and a tenths digit and we range from nine tenths to four and one tenth. With stem and leaf plots, we split each value within a data set into a stem and a leaf. For example, let's take 2 and 6 tenths, and we're going to split this into a stem and a leaf. So the ones digits are going to be the stems, and the tenths digits are going to be the leaves. 
Our next step is to list the stems. But before doing so, let's take a look at what our lowest stem will be and what our highest stem will be. That way we know what to list. The lowest ones digit is zero and the highest is four. Now let's list our stems. So we can start with our lowest of zero and then work our way up to our highest of four. So those stems represent the ones digits and we went from the lowest of zero to the highest of four and we included everything in between. Now we need to list the leaves and we're just going to go in order starting with nine tenths, 0.9. So we split this, zero is the stem and then nine is the leaf. So let's put nine here. Then we have another 0.9. So we need another leaf of nine. Then we move to one, 1.0. 1 so we have a stem, we move down to the stem of one and then we need a leaf of zero. Then we have 1.1, stem of one, leaf of one. Next we have 1.4, so we need a leaf of four. Then 1.5, so a leaf of five. Then 1.8, so a leaf of eight. Now we move to 2.2, .2, so we're moving down to the stem of two, and we need a leaf of two. Then we have 2.3, so a leaf of three, 2.5, leaf of five, 2.6, leaf of six, 2.8, leaf of eight, and then 2.9, leaf of nine. And then our last value, our last distance is 4.1. So we skip the stem of three. We don't have any threes. So let's move down to the stem of four and we need a leaf of one. And that's it for the leaves. So we worked through the data and we kept everything neat, spaced and aligned so it's easy to read. You can see that we have the distances under a mile, then we have the one mile distances, the two mile distances, we don't have any three mile distances, and then a four mile distance. The stem and leaf plot helped us organize and display the data. So now what we need to do is make a key. That way, anyone looking at this will know exactly what the stems represent and what the leaves represent and how to read this stem and leaf plot. And all we need to do here is take an example from the stem and leaf plot and put what it equals. Let's use two and six tenths. So this is going to be our example for the key. So underneath the stem and leaf plot, let's put key and then a stem of two with a leaf of six equals two and six tenths. And we can even label this miles since that's what we're working with here. So that's our key. And then lastly, to wrap this up, we can put a title. So let's put distances on the treadmill. And this is miles. So there you have it. There's how to make a stem and leaf plot. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time. Peace.